So um, this is kind of a little bonus episode. I uh, figured they're kind of rare and we would talk about them. These are Solomon Island tree boas, otherwise known as Candoya bibrini australis. So these are not to be confused with the Candoya pulsani, which are the Solomon Island ground boas, nor are they to be confused with the Candoya bibrini bibrini, which are the, the Fiji Island boas. Um, for any of you guys that are uh, Survivor fans, all those shows are filmed on Fiji, and every episode they have Candoya Bibberni Bibberni in it. So my kids are like, oh look, it's Candoya Bibberni Bibberni, because they think I'm a total geek, and I've said it so many times every time I watch one of those shows. But I used to have a really, really large group of these guys. Um, they are an arboreal species. Um, they're very, very easy to sex. Males have um, visual spurs that are... I mean, you can see it on the camera, that little white speck, that's a spur. Um, very, very easy. They, they are complete chow hounds. So I thought I would talk about these guys for a couple minutes just because um, I really enjoy them. Um, I kept them for a little while. I, I sold the project and I've tinkered back and forth. Uh, do I really want to get any um, again? And if I do, what are my expectations going to be? <laughs> because... No one has really bred them, um, except for a couple of people that had litters drop from wild-caught adults. Um, and I have my own theory. I think we keep them too hot. I think that they take a longer time to establish. Um, as babies, they definitely prefer geckos and lizards um, as opposed to rodents. But I've only had adults, and all of my adults, for the exception of one, took rodents no problem and many of those didn't even require scenting so i think they're a really cool species they're small you can keep them similar to an amazon tree boa they're a draper not a, a percher so they're going to spend time on the ground and they're going to drape but they want multiple points of contact for the perches just don't keep them that hot because they don't need it um, they come from the solomon islands which have a more uh, kind of a cooler uh, milder temperature, but they do need some humidity, so you don't want to keep them dry. And it, everybody talks about them having slow metabolisms. I don't really buy into that because they will use the bathroom um, pretty often, and they will take rodents anytime offered. So, for, with I had a group of eight. And of all of my eight, any time that I fed them, within a couple of days, they were going to the bathroom. So, and they would be empty. And then I'd let them go for another week or two, and then I'd feed them again, and it's the same thing. So for me, I, from my experience, they process their food very quickly. And uh, I don't know how much stock I put into that whole, uh, they're very, very slow metabolizing animals. I, I don't know. Um, that could be true, but just from my experience, based off of how often they go to the bathroom after a feeding, I don't think that's completely uh, accurate. But um, they do uh, require more than one male, so these males will not uh, uh, combat one another, but to breed them from what I hear you, which I guess we're all kind of on the same playing field when it comes to breeding these guys, um, you want multiple males and they will induce breeding behavior and 
will kind of compete for the female, but they're not necessarily going to combat with one another. So it's it's totally okay to keep reverse trios together. You can keep 2.1s, you can keep 3.1s together. Um, one of them, uh, in theory, should win out and breed the female, but uh, it has been proven that they do have a longer gestation period. You're looking at maybe six months, uh, possibly eight months, uh, based off of all the all the information that's been made available to us so far, that could change. But from what I've seen, they have a longer gestation than your typical boa species do. Um, but uh, just really cool snakes. They have kind of a keeled um, uh, texture to them. Um, and one thing that I think is really neat is they go through a light and dark phase just on a daily basis. So I've posted pictures of the same animal in both phases. And each time I've posted it, people have thought it's a different animal. So you could totally, uh, you know, this animal probably looks very like gray or non-red at different parts of the day. But it, right now it's very orange and rust colored, as you can tell. Um, and same with this one. They'll go through like a dark phase. So I used to have some with this pink and stuff on them. And they would look almost black with white in one phase and then they look very grayish brown with pink at another phase and look very different. And I had some that were gray whenever they would go through their other phase, they'd look almost olive green. So they're very, very unique animals. They're not very expensive and they seem to do really well and acclimate to captivity very easily. I think it's just the breeding and getting on the seasonal cycles that seems to be a little bit of a problem. Um, we haven't really figured that out yet, but if you're looking for a smaller arboreal species that's obviously very docile, these guys are a great way to go, and uh, they're kind of nuanced, so um, they're not going to bite you a ton. They've got a great feeding response, um, and uh, just make sure you get animals that are feeding on rodents if you're buying any from an importer, because uh, you know unless you're in the south uh, where you have access to knolls and and feeders and stuff like that it's kind of hard to come by all that stuff and you know I choose not to deal with it if I can so it's hard for me to get anoles and lizards and stuff here in Northern California so um, you know I like the adults though the adults were always very solid animals for me but uh, just thought I'd do a little bonus episode Ho hopefully you guys like it um, I'm here still at Glenn Brooks place he's kind of stepped out of screen for me but decided to let me uh, talk about the animals that he has um, and I'll have his info in the description as well. Thanks for watching, guys. You've been watching Godbold Exotics. Candoya Bibberdi Australis. I bring